Hello everyone. I keep forgetting that I should promote my website every once in a while. So here it is. This is my website. It's rohandalvi.net. Uh, I make commercial uh, Houdini trainings. So if you're interested, you can check it out. I also uh, recently started my uh, Patreon or actually like restarted my Patreon and I am updating my old... Uh, I have a Toon Shading in SOP series, so I'm kind of recreating that in COPS. So you can take a look at that. So it's $15 a month. So if you're interested in either, I'll put the links below in the description so you can check it out. Now let's get back to our scheduled programming. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to make this, which is sort of like the static effect. Okay, so I was trying to make, like what was I trying to make? So I was trying to make something like that. But I ended up, you know, with this. So I figured like this looks interesting. So let's do that. So uh, to get started, right? So I'm, I'll just pick up something from here. This makes makes my life a little easier. So I'll start a new file. I'm going to just create a cop network because this doesn't need any geometry. We're just doing everything in cops. And I'll come to composite view and I'll just pick up, I'll pick up this and this tile pattern. Okay, so I'll do control C, control V. Okay, so what I have is, I just have like a basic uh, circle. Uh, let me just do one more thing. I'm going to get the default resolution down to 512. It actually looks nicer at lower resolution because it sort of makes it feel old. Like, uh, I'm sort of doing like a old CRT television kind of a glitch. So those weren't like, I think that was like 720 by 576. So yeah, so 512 works. Well enough for that. Okay, so we have like a simple circle and I just, I'm giving it a little bit of smoothing. And then I have this style pattern, which is the important bit. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just, you know, I'll recreate this so it's easier to figure out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to tile size. Okay, and uh, this will be one and that will be 0 0.05. And then I just need to do a couple of things here. So I need to like do a row offset. So I'll keep this to around like 1.2. And then uh, I wanted to sort of just move downwards. Okay, so I'm going to take, uh, we'll do like at time. And if I press play, okay, it's moving up. We wanted to go down. So we'll do like minus at time. So it goes down. And then I'm going to take the horizontal jitter and make it to one. So we'll get this. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you can take the seed value and kind of get different results. So I'll keep the seed to one. Okay, so this is what we have. Now I'm going to use this to distort my, uh, like, let me get rid of that. So I'm going to use this to distort the circle. Okay, but uh, we need the UV. So you can actually take a look at the UVs. Okay, so this is this, these are what the UVs look like. See, so this is the UV. Uh, what I want to do is I want to take uh, a distort and just you plug this into source and take this UV and plug it into direction. And if I increase this, so I'll take the pixels per step a little low and I'll keep this to around 0 0.4. And that's what you'll get. Okay, so if you play this, you get this. But what I ended up with was a little more interesting. So if I take a remap node in between, and uh, the first thing you want to change is uh, the outside range is on clamp. Okay, so what it does is it takes all the negative values and just like blocks it. You don't want that. You keep the outside range to extend. Then you'll see like there's no difference between the remap coming in the way. And then if you start to increase the input minimum, this starts to sort of change a bit. So as you start to increase it, you'll see that it gets a little more extreme. And after a certain value, it kind of just completely distorts. So which actually looks nice. So you want to do like a like a static on television, which is like a very glitchy, this thing, whatever. See, so this looks pretty cool. So you get to a certain point and it just becomes this. So I'll keep it pretty high. So I'll keep it to like 0 0.99. So it's just like, you know, straight line sort of going down like this. See, so this, this looks nice. So this is done. Now I want to use this to distort my text. Okay, so I'm going to just take some text. So I'll type in font or actually I can pick up the text from here. So what I'll do is I have this. Okay, so just do control C and I'll pick it up here. Yeah, so uh, one of the things I noticed about the font node is that it can either output a mask, which is generally pretty harsh. Like you'll notice the edges are very like anti non-antialized or you can output an SDF. So we'll output an SDF and uh, convert that to like a mono 
like do an SDF tomorrow. Now, in order to distort this, we need to convert uh, this guy to uh, to like a UV. Okay, so what I can do is I can take a mono to RGB and I will set this to a uh, black body and then I'm going to convert this to UV. So just do RGB to UV and you'll get this. And now I can take a distort and I can distort this. So I'm just going to take the UVs and plug this in there and uh, take this to one and take the pixel steps a little low. So I'll keep the pixel step to 0 0.45. And if you press play, see, this is what we get. Okay, now this is fine. But what we want is we want like waves going through. So uh, I'm going to take a ramp. So we'll take a ramp mono. And I'm going to set both of these to uh, like B spline. And then I can just sort of, you know, adjust it. So I want like one, if I look at it, so I want like one harsh, one very strong line. And then I want like another wave that goes through, which will be like, you know, slightly lesser than that, you know, so something like this. And this should be vertical. So it sort of goes, you know, up down. We'll set the outside range to repeat because we want to repeat. And then I will set the phase to, uh, let's do like at time. So if you press play, you'll see it sort of moving like that. But I think that's too fast, so I'll divide it by two. So we'll get this. And I want a few more of these, so I'll take the cycles to about two. Okay, or a little bit higher than that. So if you press play, you'll get this. And what I can do is I can multiply these two. So I'll take a multiply. And I'll multiply this and that. So what will happen is you're getting this. And if you look at your text, you'll get that. See. Now, one thing I want to do is I want, like it's only going in one direction. So we want the static to sort of like, you know, we want it to distort in both directions. So what, if you look at it, if you go like negative, it will go in that direction. If you go, you know, if you take the scale in minus one, it's going that, that way. If you take scale in positive, it'll go this way. So what you can do is just duplicate this and keep this to minus one and then we can do a blend and we'll set this to maximum and I can blend these two. So we get this. So that's like, you know, the basic thing that we want. Now let's take care of, you know, just making it look nice. So what I'll do is I am going to take a blur and let's blur this slightly. I'm, I'm going to do like a couple of these just to make it look a little fancy. So I can take a blend again so see, so this is like, you know, slightly blurred out and I can blend this and that and I can set it to, I tried like hypotenuse, which looked nice. And then I can take another blur. You can, exp this is all just experimentation. I can't really even explain why I did most of the stuff that I did, but it just looked nice. So I did it. Okay. And then we can take a blend here and I'm going to pick up, I'm going to take a difference. So take a difference and just lower it to around 0.4 or something. And you know, there you go. So that's, that's what we have. So now uh, we just want to color it. So what I'll do is I'll just pick up the ramp from here because it was just, it was the thing that worked for me. So I'll just pick that up. So I'll do like control C, come in here and do control B and plug that in. And there you go. See, so we have, you know, this, see. And like, if you adjust the blur, see it kind of like, you know, I'll increase the blur a bit. Yeah. See, so you can sort of like adjust this. If you increase it, it's sort of, you get like an inner glow or an edge glow kind of a thing. So it's not bad, you know, so I'll just sort of lower it till it's like that. Now you can do like other things on top of it. Like we can add some chromatic aberration if you want. So we can take like, you know, some chromatic aberration. And what I can do is, I can take this and use it as a mask. Okay, so let's just take this and I'll do like a UV to mono. And let's use this here as the effect. So we are getting like distortion, but see it's only happening in the parts where the line goes through. 
okay and then you can sort of like adjust this a bit oh that looks fancy see so the, you can adjust the pivot it looks interesting and then uh, I'm going to use a convolve to sort of make it look a little more sort of old you know so you can take a convolve see so it sort of like immediately does that you know see like the edges get a little bit more like the edges get highlighted so it looks a little more interesting like it feels like old broadcast or something so this is done okay now uh, let's add like some like if you look at this there are like lines here you know so let's add that uh, let's also add like a glow to this it'll look nice you know so we'll take a glow here yeah and like increase the saturation and I'll just make it big enough so it's sort of like that now to add the lines I'm going to take another tile pattern and what I can do is uh, the same thing so I'll keep it to tile size and I'll keep this to 2 and I'll keep this like really low so 0 0.01 should be good and uh, this is fine like we don't need anything else beyond this now what I can also do is like this should also get distorted so I'm going to take a distort here this comes in there and we take the same thing so this this is where you know we are getting our basic distortion you know so I'll just take this and plug it into direction and I will take uh, the scale to 0 0.25 and if you look at the C so you'll get like you know this which looks nice and then I can like let's keep the convolve in the end okay so I'll just take this and I'll take a take a blend again and we'll blend these two together and I'll keep this to divide and just lower it so you'll get like lines going out like that but what I want to do is I want to take the divide like really low so just like a little bit uh, also I want to make one change here like I want the edges to be a little bit darker okay so what I'll do is I'll take the in the shape I'll take the size and lower it and I'll lower the size here as well see and I want this to be like blurred out so what I'll do is I'll change the drawing type from filled to gradient and the gradient we will change to uh, like you can click here to the presets and make it hill see so you'll get it like this so you know it'll be a little bit like that and if I look at the blend see you get like you know these edges to be a little bit shinier and we can make a few adjustments here because I just want it to be like just extend this out and let's keep it to three and we might have to move it a little so just take the row offset yeah there you go uh, hold on let's keep it to two let's try the row offset again now I think we'll have to just make some adjustments so just increase this yeah and then I want like both sides to glow a little bit yeah I think that is good so just you know like extend out and then make the adjustments here yeah there you go see so that looks so the edges kind of glow a little bit I'll also just lower the glow down to around 0 0.25 yeah I think that should be okay yeah so there you go see that looks nice so now uh, there's just a few minor things left so okay so first we'll add some fractal noise so we'll take fractal noise 3d I'll set it to RGB and I'll just make some adjustments and I want it animated okay so I'll take the Z here and just do like a add frame so we'll just get this and then I'll take a blend and I'll set this to hard light and we can just adjust that see so this looks this looks nice and then I can take uh, we can take a contrast and just adjust the colors a little bit so I can like lower the contrast a little we can adjust these values yeah just sort of play around with the static play around with the contrast values it looks nice okay and then lastly uh, let's just say if I want to sort of distort it like like it's on a television screen so you're looking at it and it's kind of like you know spherical so I can just take a ramp so we'll take a ramp mono and I will set this to concentric and let's flip this yeah so now I can just change this to uh, like a UV map so I can take like a slope so I can type in slope direction 
and plug this in so you get that and just take a distort and I can plug that in and we can just increase that or like lower it okay so let's do one thing here as well like firstly let's just take this and set both of these to like a B spline or hold on uh, let's try let's try monotone cubic yeah there you go oh perfect yeah monotone cubic so that looks nice see so this gives you like a nice distortion on the whole thing so go slightly negative and we can press play and there you go and then of course like if you come all the way back here and whatever changes we make here it gives you like a different result see so if you like lower it too much then it it sort of distorts like that and like if it's too low then it's just like this so and then the higher you go the more so you can sort of play around with it and see what you like and also like depending on what colors you pick up here so this one you know like if I change the colors you get different results because it changes this color to the UV so if I change this to let's say like Inferno it gives you different results or if you change it to uh, like Plasma then it gives different results see so like you know everything that comes in it gives you like varying results so the one I liked was like black the black body worked the best for the results that we wanted but you can sort of play around with these colors and see what you like. So yeah, so we'll go back to black body and so you can sort of play around and you know, make whatever you want to. Uh, let's try adding like a convolve in the end and see what we get. Convolve three by three. Yeah, there you go. That looks nice. Yeah. See, so it sort of gives everything an edge, which looks kind of funky. And you can kind of lower the mask value to define like how much you want. So it's kind of interesting that now you can do almost like something like this you would generally do in like After Effects or Nuke and you can do stuff like this inside of Houdini. So if you want to do like textures like this for, for your animation or whatever, you can actually like do stuff like that over here. All right, that's pretty much it.